All right, hello everyone. Time for a colorful painting. I had my leftover colors from the head scratcher painting that I did and I had an idea that I wanted to just swipe in one direction almost to create it's not really like a birds of paradise, but that type feel to it. So I'm going to stretch the white out on this canvas all the way to the sides. And then I'm going to swipe and I'm not going to tilt. I'm just going to do basically a controlled swipe with this one. So we'll see if it works out, but let's get started here. So I'm just going to pour my white paint down and stretch that out first. stretch to each side. I'm actually going to stretch this all the way. Spin it around so you can see it. Perfect. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. Okay. Since my sides are white, I'm not too worried about them. I can always touch them up later. And I say that as I'm touching them up now, but. <laughs> All right. Okay, I finally made it over to that side. So I am using a pur oh, I forgot to put my gloves on. A purple that I have no idea what purple it is. I made it. A magenta, sky blue, an orange, and a lime green. And in the other video, the purple was like bleeding through the colors. I didn't like it, so I switched it out. So this is a little bit darker purple. So I think I'm going to start with my little lines down here and just swipe upward. And I think, ooh, I saw something right as I was pouring it out. I think I'm going to, ooh, that was a lot. That was supposed to be a tiny little line. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I did not think that through. This is also gonna swipe the colors over each other. The next one I might do maybe like that. I haven't decided yet. And I don't actually know what this is gonna come out like, so. Did I use all that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, yep. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna swipe once or puddle them all now. I was not prepared for to start this video yet. Here's my Australian Floetrol. I made a bigger batch this time because I had it in like a small little container. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna do another one right there. Oh, I said I was gonna do it the other way. Oh well. These colors are so much fun. They make me so happy. Okay, so controlled swipe. Here we go. Could have technically used Okay, that's almost like a little Uh, I almost said feather, petal, like a leaf. And the white fits perfect in with that white, so I don't, I don't have to stretch off that edge or anything like that. That's really pretty. I wonder if I'm going to be able to... Get the 
same effect down here. So I'll start a little bit into the white. Oh, nope. Got a little bit of my colors off there. It's difficult using that big uh, palette knife for this. So for this part, maybe I'll come back down here. Swipe that along there. This is just me playing around. These are the types of videos that I love to make because I'm literally have no idea and you're watching it come to life the same time that I am. So I don't normally do this, but I think I'm going to, oh, I don't know if I should. I want to get some really tiny swipes in there. Like I maybe want to come across it this way with one. I was gonna put it on my palette knife, but I think maybe I'll just drop some drops. So this one has a lot of orange, this one has a lot of purple. Maybe I'll just do it like this with little droplets. Mm, my purple's right there, I'll do the green next. Then the purple. Then my blue. And then my orange on this one. Let's see how that works. Is this gonna to be too big to swipe? I feel like it will. Is that gonna to be too small to swipe? Okay, so I'm gonna come in here. This is very cool. I wanted it to be like leaves floating upward. I feel like it really needs one more pop of color through here, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Maybe I do it off this edge and swoop up that way. Okay, so now I've got, I'll start with my sky blue here. I'm gonna start right down here. As if this one was off the canvas. Coming up a little bit further. And I have an idea, I might swipe a little bit of green up through here, but I'm not sure yet. Oh, already had that color, magenta. So I might swipe through and up there. And I do have an idea, almost like a double helix, to swipe like that, like a woven pattern. I, every time I get in my studio, I have more concepts and ideas. That I want to do, which is not a bad thing when you're a content creator. Or just any artist in general, really. Don't know if I want to continue this one back up as to give the effect that it's like going over it. This is very minimalistic. On through here. You know? Like it's my light blue through here. I 
feel like this one coming off the edge was a little much, but I think if I connect them a little bit, it may change. I feel like maybe even just a little bit of orange. and a little bit of blue to bring that side together. And then I can bring this back. brought that together. Oh, controlled swipes. Ugh. Without tilting, because you know the tilting, it really covers the whole canvas and this is just completely different for me. It's not quite what I was hoping, but it is pretty cool. This part in here, I want to just be solid white though. I feel like maybe the purple Magenta, oh. <laughs> the blue. It's gonna run into that part just a little bit. This is like super abstract for me. Okay. I'm like concentrating over here, y'all. Okay, I think I wanna come at it this way. What do we think? Did that help that area, hurt that area? I feel like it's starting to come together. Am I being crazy about that? Like, I feel like this is looking pretty darn cool. And I feel like that bottom, instead of doing like some extra leaves there, I felt like it just needed some extra little motion. Right? This is also difficult because I'm looking at it from your view. I mean, not from your view or the view that I'm gonna hang it because I, I envision this piece going this way. I don't know. I love this part up here. I don't know, I feel like this just may be done. I wonder if I could just
wipe that on along without like disrupting the look of the painting that it has already. Seems a bit off balance. I just don't know. Because to me, something is telling me to swipe right up through there to have like the last little bit of balance. Okay, I did that again. This could ruin the whole thing because I love this part up here, but not ruin. I hate saying that. I don't think anything is ruined if you're experimenting and playing around. Man, it's fun when you have no idea what's going to happen. Okay. I am pretty proud of myself, I must say, for doing all of those uh, puddles and not over pouring except for like twice. Okay. So this one. Woo. Little mishap there on the end. And then this one I'll drag back down into this section. What do we think? up with a lot right there. I don't know. I can't tell. I'm going to have to let this one dry. I may have to go at it another way for my idea. This maybe just may not work. Or I may really like it when it dries. <laughs> Those are the options. just feel like it needs more down here, but I don't know how to do that. Well, I mean, I do, I just don't wanna like disrupt what I've already got. I think that's what it is, is I've got all this motion up top and it just kind of faded away down here. Now it looks like mermaid tails. <laughs> All right, so this one may or may not have worked. Jury is still out. Super cool effect, and I think I want to try to do the woven one where it's just tiny little dots of color, and then I weave them all the way through and then stretch it out. But I'm going to leave this one be. I think it might have been cool if I had crossed in on them, but you can let me know your thoughts. This one is definitely work in progress for now. It was super fun to experiment. I've still got the leftover colors, so I'll read everybody's comments, see what everybody says, and then from those ideas, maybe I'll make another painting as well. So, all right, let me show you what it looks like. I just don't know about this one. And I think what's throwing me off 
is this bottom part here. So I thought, since I was going for like, not quite birds of paradise, but like that kind of floral petal flowing upward look, um, I thought maybe I could, I'm going to sit on it and think about it for a while, but maybe I could add like some leaves to cover up this part down here, almost like, like those big frond type leaves. And I think that might make it a little bit better. I mean, the cells themselves are really gorgeous. Much, much tinier with a controlled swipe because you don't spread them out when you stretch the paint. They basically stay exactly where they are. But yeah, I think it's just the bottom part and maybe the color a little bit. But we shall see. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. You might see a picture, maybe on my community tab, if I try to fix it up a little bit. But it was still fun. Well, I sat on this one for quite a bit of time and I videoed it without adding anything to it. The lacing up here is really pretty. And inevitably, someone will say, oh, you ruined it, but I don't think it's ever ruining it if you're experimenting and learning. And that is definitely what I was doing here. So this looks really black. Let me see if I can get you. There we go. It's really green, and I used that impasto technique. It looks so black from back there, but you can see all the individual leaves that are on the bottom and it's 3D, they stick off the side. So I don't know, I don't know, it's different. You can let me know your thoughts. I will entertain anything, but you ruined it. <laughs> but it, it's an interesting concept and it was almost there, it's just that the bottom was really, really bothering me. And so that's why I added almost like, you know, flowers coming up out of the bush. But the actual tiny little cells from the controlled swipe are really interesting. Let me see if I can get you over here. So I don't know, jury is still out on this one. I think I like it better when I stretch instead of controlled swiping, but it was still fun to play around. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.